Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now let's face it, we all have down days for whatever reason. So I've got 10 ways to be happy and think positive if you are having a bad day. Tip one is positive thinking. So even if you are having a bad day, if you think hard enough, you'll find there's always at least something positive that happened in your day. So make sure you list these down in a diary or a journal. Tip two is exercise. So working out is definitely a great way to release those happy endorphins. Now it doesn't mean that you just have to go to the gym. It can be anything from going for a walk, doing a class, just anything to get your heart rate up and release those nice happy endorphins. Tip three, as funny as it sounds, is Pinterest. This is a great way, if you don't have much money, to window shop. And I love making little boards up and just creating my dream sort of outfits and wish lists of makeup and stuff I want. And it's just really fun and just makes me happy. If you do wanna follow me on Pinterest, go and check out my boards to get inspired as well. Tip four is to create a hopes and dreams jar. So all you're gonna need is a small jar, some colored post-it notes, a pen, some silver stars, and a sticky label. So I just printed off a inspirational quote and printed it onto some sticky label. Then I cut it down to size to fit the jar to stick on the front. Taking your stars, you're going to sprinkle a few into the bottom of the jar. Then next, getting your post-it notes, you're going to trim these down to a small tab size so you can write on them and fold them up. So when writing on your coloured tabs, think about what you want to achieve for the future. So that's your hopes and dreams and where you may see yourself in five years time. Then once you've done that, fold them all up and place them into your magic jar. Make sure you keep your jar in a safe place so you can look back at it when you're feeling down and things like that. And remember to focus on all the positive things that can happen in the future if you work hard. Tip five is travel. And this doesn't mean going far away because obviously that can get expensive. If you're fortunate to live by a beach or in a forest or by the countryside, go and take a walk at your favorite place. It really helps clear your mind, especially if it's a lovely day and it makes you appreciate the things that you have around you. Tip six is listen to music. Whether that's creating your own playlist in Spotify or iTunes, list down all the songs that make you happy and feel good and pop them into a happy playlist so you can listen to it if you're ever feeling down. Tip seven is organize a girls night in. So gather all your favorite girlfriends together who make you laugh, whip up some little snacks and treats, watch some really girly funny movies, paint your nails and just have a good old chin wag and gossip. Tip eight is to make a Tumblr inspired photo book. So all you're gonna need is a small notebook and then you're gonna print out some of your favorite images onto an A4 sticky piece of label paper and then just cut them out and stick them onto your notebook. So here I've just printed off lots of images that inspire and motivate me and I'm just cutting them all down to size to make sure they fit onto the notebook neatly. You can also, once you've finished sticking them, pop a bit of clear plastic film over them to protect your notebook as well.
Once you've finished cutting out all your images, you're going to place them onto your notebook so you know exactly where you want to put them before sticking them down permanently. Then once this is all finished, you can use this as a journal to write down your daily thoughts or as a diary or just to write down revision notes and things like that. And you can always look at the front cover if you're feeling down to inspire you. Tip number nine is watching YouTube. Now obviously if you're already watching this video, hopefully you're a big fan of YouTube anyway. But I love watching my favorite YouTubers to help inspire me and get me motivated and happy to start my day. And I love watching this girl at the moment called Mimi. She makes the most amazing fashion and lifestyle videos. So I'll put the link to her channel down below if you want to go and check her out. Finally, tip number 10 is to read a good book. Now, if you're not into reading, there is plenty of amazing, inspiring books out there to help you stay motivated. And here is some of my favorite that I like to read before I go to bed. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope this inspires you to stay happy and motivated. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this and also don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter for more inspiration and also check out my two previous videos by clicking on the links on the right. Have a wonderful rest of the week guys, stay happy and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, bye! Thank you.